Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Hollywood Joe Tussing, and tonight we're going to take a look at the co-main event from UFC 227, the flyweight title fight between Demetrius Johnson and Henry Cejudo. So we get one of the greatest fights in UFC flyweight history, and we get a new flyweight champion in Henry Cejudo with an outstanding five-round decision win over the Mighty Mouse who was one of the most dominant champions in UFC history. The only person to hold a belt longer than him was Anderson Silva, but that reign came to an end tonight with Henry Cejudo's wrestling and just relentless takedown game. At the beginning of the fight, Demetrius Johnson came out, really tried to pressure Henry Cejudo and used leg kicks to open up. He caught Henry Cejudo with a kick right across the knee on his left leg that seemed to cause like a, a, a dead leg, a little nerve uh, spasm. Henry Cejudo stepped back and rolled his ankle a lot like Michael Chandler did in his fight with Brent Primus. He tried to, tried to, to circle to the left, rolled it again. It was like uh, deja vu, but luckily he was able to pull it together. The, the Herb Dean didn't step in to stop the fight, so it was able to continue. Demetrius Johnson definitely won the first round with his activity, his pressure, a lot of leg kicks. He seemed to be landing more. It, was, uh, it looked like Cejudo was having trouble with the legs so much that he wasn't really thinking about getting his timing. Um, so I would definitely give the first round to Demetrius Johnson. In the second round, Cejudo's legs seemed to be okay. He wasn't rolling his ankle any longer, so uh, he started to pressure a little bit more and was able to start catching the low kick that Demetrius Johnson was throwing and return a right hand. He actually landed a lot of those in the fight. One of the more uh, significant strikes between the two guys in the fight were the right hands that Cejudo was able to land off of the low kicks that Demetrius Johnson was throwing once he was able to time them. In the second round, we also saw something that we very rarely see, and that is Demetrius Johnson getting taken down Henry Cejudo used a beautiful inside trip takedown, one of my favorite takedowns. He hit it four times in the fight. Um, two of them were very uh, definitive. Uh, two of them weren't, uh, he wasn't able to get control of them. Every time that he would go for a takedown on Demetrius Johnson and get somewhat of a body lock, uh, Demetrius would hit a Granby roll. It was beautiful. He was very hard to hold down. But I would have to give the second round to Cejudo. Uh, he was able to get a takedown. He looked like he was starting to land heavier shots and he was starting to counter the leg kicks. Um, in the third round, more of that, more of the same of Henry Ciudo really putting on more pressure uh, than we've seen anybody do with Demetrius Johnson. Going for more takedowns, he hit a beautiful shot and uh, Demetrius Johnson immediately dropped his hips. So Cejudo switched to a knee tap on the, on the right side and caught Demetrius Johnson's knee, tripped him up, and got him to the ground. Another takedown for Cejudo. Uh, Demetrius Johnson was able to get back to his feet, but I would have to give the third round to Henry Cejudo. He landed a couple more rights with the, the catching of the low kick and then throwing the counter right, as well as some good punches on the inside. Demetrius Johnson was really doing most of the damage uh, with the kicks and and catching Cejudo as, it, as they were coming together uh, with little flurries of punches, but nothing that ever seemed to really hurt or stun Henry Cejudo. In the fourth round, Henry Cejudo really just kept trying to pick up uh, the wrestling game, hit another inside trip takedown. Uh, it looked like uh, one of the right hands that he hit Demetrius Johnson with possibly rocked him a little bit, sat him down on his butt. Henry Cejudo just seemed like the stronger fighter in this fight. The fifth round, we got a lot of Henry Cejudo trying to walk Demetrius Johnson down. The fight ended with both guys just throwing leather at each other. It was one of the most outstanding fights I've ever seen in the flyweight division. Henry Cejudo, uh, a completely new fighter from the fighter that fought Demetrius Johnson the first time. The way he stands, the way he is able to strike and counter strike, he was throwing a lot of three and four punch combos on the inside when Demetrius Johnson would try to engage. Uh, the takedowns were really the thing that, that cemented the win for Cejudo in this fight though. The inside trip takedowns that he was able to get on Demetrius Johnson 
was able, what, that was the one way to nullify Demetrius Johnson's outstanding takedown defense. Demetrius Johnson really sits his hips down and sprawls extremely fast. And so by using a clinch to inside trip, he takes away the ability for Demetrius Johnson to sprawl out and he is able to use his strength uh, to get Demetrius Johnson to the ground. It was just an outstanding game plan by Henry Cejudo. Interesting to see if he gets the fight with the winner of Garbrandt versus Dillashaw. That fight is up next. Couldn't be more excited for a fight in the 135 pound division. Part two of what will end up being a trilogy saga, I am sure. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.